Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing another tier list video bringing it back to my previous type of content that I was filming. <laughs> so yes, I am doing a tier list video ranking the characters from Ever After High which is a show on Netflix. Okay. So I am recording with my AirPods. This is my second time recording with them. The last time I recorded with them, I realized the sound was a bit quiet. So I'm going to try to talk louder uh, so the sound is better. Um, yeah, I have a lot of videos recorded that I haven't put up yet because I have to edit them a lot and I just am lazy and don't feel like editing. But I feel like recording more content, so that is what I'm going to do. Um, so yes, uh, Ever After High is a show on Netflix. I think it's like made by Mattel. I think it's like made by Mattel. It's like, um, a, your basic kind of cartoon girly show. Kind of like, um, My Little Pony or like, um, Twink, 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 you know, whatever. Those shows. I like watching children's shows. I don't know. I'm weird like that maybe, maybe not. I don't think anybody who watches shows like this is weird. It's just, I don't know, I just find it enjoyable. So I am going to be talking about it. And I am going to be ranking the characters. So I haven't watched all of the episodes posted on Netflix yet, but I was so excited about it that I wanted to rank them. So there's probably some people I don't know yet already I'm looking at them. Pictures, I can tell that some people, I think I don't know them yet because they're probably introduced later on in the series. So I will just say that when I get to them, and I might do another um, do another recording of like this again, like an, another version once I finish the show, and tell you all if like my rankings have changed, or um, and also like rank the new characters. But anyways, again, I'm sorry if you think it's weird that I watch this kind of stuff, but to me, I like it. So sorry. <laughs> um. Anyways, already starting off. So already starting off strong, or not, <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Sorry, I may have already been introduced to him, but I just don't know who he is. Okay, secondly, this is Apple White. I'm going to try to get all their names correct because they do have kind of unusual names and their names are based off of their fairy tales. So I'll do like a little bit of a backstory if you have not watched this show yet and you're interested in watching it. So, a bit of a backstory. The show is based off of Disney characters, or I guess not just Disney, but fairy tale characters. It includes fairy tales like of other, not just Disney, but other like um, stuff. Um, I think, I don't know if they're all written by the Brothers Grimm, but I do know that the principal in this show is one of the Brothers Grimm. So, yeah, I think maybe that it's based off of their fairy tales. Um, I know the two main fairy tale um, authors are um, the, the Brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen. So I think maybe some um, Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales are in here as well. But anyways... So this is Apple, oh wow, I skipped ahead again. So anyways, based off of fairy tales, and these are the kids of the famous fairy tale characters, and that's kind of the story. And there is um, two different sides of the school. They're in like, I guess high school or something. Okay, so there are two different like sides of the school. There are the royals and the rebels, and the rebels, I think, are just the um, characters that don't want to go along with their fate. So basically they have like, this fate to carry out kind of like a similar story to their parents so it's gonna it's like history repeating itself I guess and that's their fate and basically in one of the first episodes they can pick if they want to go along with their fate and follow through with kind of like the life that their parents led and their legacy or if they want to be a rebel and kind of go their own way so that's the basis of this show so anyways <laughs> they all have kind of unusual names based off of their um, parents and stuff like that so this is apple white and that is snow white's daughter and she's like your um basic not basic but she's your typical um like 
Three Two Shoes. She really, really is interested in following her legacy to the um, to the T. She wants to be exactly like her mom and live out her life that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, she's really sweet and she's really, um, I feel like, innocent. And she just um, sees the world in a very positive way. And that's um, a very good quality to have in a person. So that is her. And um, this might be some mild spoilers for the first season. Um, so if you have not watched the first season, season please skip ahead I was like reading like a book or something but anyways so she um apple white is her story is obviously related to the evil queen the evil queen's daughter which I can't even find her here but anyways the evil queen's daughter is not going to fall in the footsteps of the evil queen and so that means that she won't get her happily ever after so that kind of upsets her um she's very devoted to living that um ever after life I guess you could say because I can't even find a left on her okay never mind yeah so that's her um I would have to rate her as an A character I really like her so far she's not my favorite character but I really do like her a lot and I definitely think if I watched this when I was a kid I probably would have liked her the most um yeah she's really nice and her outfits are super cute. Like, one thing about this show is their outfits are on point. Like, I am so jealous of a lot of the girls' outfits and hair and makeup. And I'm just like, wow, they're so beautiful. That is mostly what I watch this show for, if I'm being honest, is their outfits, their shoes, and their hair. <laughs> so, yes. Anyways, this girl is related to Cinderella. And this is Ashlyn Ella. So, she's super cute. She has, um earrings in the shape of shoes I'm not sure if you can see it but they're super cute and she's obsessed with shoes like it's so funny uh I love that about her I think that's super cute and I just think she's a really like I don't know I just really like how she looks like I just really like her I don't know what it is about her she's she just appeals to me as a character a lot um but yeah another spoiler alert I think for end of season one she does have a relationship with the son of the Huntsman from Snow White, and that is Hunter Huntsman, and that is this guy. And so she's kind of leaning towards becoming a rebel because um, she's not following her storyline of being with um, the prince, um, I guess. Yeah, what's his name in Cinderella? I think it's just the prince. I don't know who he is. Maybe that's his I don't know. I haven't met him yet, but she's not following along with, like, that because she wants to be with Hunter Huntsman from the Snow White story. So she might turn out to be a rebel. But anyways, that's kind of her storyline right now. Um, I like her. I, I'm, I'm deciding if I should put her in S or A. To be honest, I like a lot of these characters a lot. I'll put her in A. Like, I think I'll put them like that for now. I may change them like I always do, so we will see. Now... This girl is related to Goldilocks, and she is Blondilocks. She doesn't have very much of a storyline yet. She is, like, a reporter, so she reports on a lot of the stuff at school. That's, like, her main storyline. I'm just going to put her in C, to be honest, because it might just be for lack of storyline, but I'm just not really feeling her character too much. Then we have this girl, who is Briar Beauty, and she is related to Sleeping Beauty. She is Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty's daughter. And the thing about her is she's really into partying. And she's really, like, high energy and super, super social. And she's also, like, a sleepy head. She is always falling asleep, which I think is so funny and so relatable to her story. Because, yeah, like, for her, her future is that she's going to sleep for 100 years. So she is also struggling um, with if she should go along with her, um, like, legacy, because she would have to sleep for 100 years, and she's not sure about that, so that's kind of what's going on with her, and she's best friends with Apple, um, so yeah, she's kind of the best friend sidekick, um, I like her, I just don't like her as much as these two, because, I don't know, I just feel like we haven't really seen too much of her character yet, and, I don't know, I just don't really, like, relate too much with the sleepiness, <laughs> I guess you guys can say because I am like I have like insomnia like I I don't know I used to be able to sleep well and then I, I went through this period when I was in my undergrad 
when I first had sleeping issues and it was because I would have like a class at 8 a.m which is fine but the thing is that my school was like over an hour away so I'd have to be up at like 6 and if I had an exam I'd, I would always have like anxiety that I would sleep in so I, I would never fall asleep like I couldn't fall asleep because I'd just be lying there thinking oh my gosh I'm gonna oversleep and miss my exam or my class or something so I started to have like sleeping issues whenever I would have an early class like that I couldn't fall asleep the night before and also like it's a bit different like in in college or university because in high school it's like every day you have the same schedule unless they schedule but same hours like when I was in high school um for grade 11 and 12 I went from 9 to 3 10 every day and yeah sometimes I had a spare and I went from 10 to 3 10 or 9 to 150 but it was generally the same hours so it was kind of the same schedule every day but then in college or university um I would have like one day where I have class until 10 p.m. at night. I had a class. It was for some reason it was a four-hour class because so I had to flip a tangent. You don't like tangents because I had graphic art tangents, so whatever. Um, so I I had a class once that was four hours. Usually at my school we would have like one class would be three hours a week. You'd have to take it for like the whole semester. Um, and you could either take it in like one three hour block or two hours or one hour, but you had to have me in class for three hours a week per each class you took. So for five classes, it was like 15 hours. Anyways, so, but then other classes for some reason would be, you had to take them for four hours for the credit. And that was usually like math, like engineering, like, um, I did business. So, um, almost all my classes were three hours. <laughs> that was like the minimum. But yeah, if you were in engineering or something like that, you might have classes that were four hours or five hours. That was a thing. But anyways, I had one class for some reason that was four hours a week. And it was an evening class. It was 6 to 10 p.m. at night, and it was calculus. So I was literally trying to do calculus at 9.45 at night, drinking coffee, because I'm trying to stay awake for this like exam that I'm taking at 9.45 at night in calculus. And the next day, I have to be up at 6 a.m., so, like, my whole sleeping schedule was so off because, like, some days I was going to bed at, like, midnight and sleeping in. And it, it was just a lot. So, that's when my sleeping problems started. And then, ever since then, I, like, have on and off sleeping issues. Like, I'll sleep fine for a while. And then, once I start not sleeping, it's like I can't get back into sleeping. So, anyways, maybe that's why I don't like her that much. I like her, but not she's not my favorite because I can't relate to that, like, sleeping all the time like I was watching this show and I was falling asleep yesterday because I like watching this when I'm falling asleep because it kind of de-stresses me I like watching these kinds of like kids shows when I'm falling asleep it makes me it puts me in a good mood but anyways I was falling asleep and I had like my earplugs in and I was like she was like sleeping I was like oh my gosh like I'm so jealous of her right now so yeah anyways I'm also not really into like partying all the time, so I just don't really relate to her as much as the other girls, but I still like her a lot. Um, I don't know who she is. Is she? No. I don't know who she is uh, right now, so I'm going to put her there. This, oh, she is, this is Cedar Woods, I believe. I'm just double checking, oh, because I want to make sure I'm getting their names correctly. She's not on the list for some reason. Yeah, some of their names are a little bit weird, so I want to get her name correctly when I can. Okay, so her name is Cedar Woods. Anyways, she is related to Pinocchio, so, but her story is a little bit different. She can never lie. Like, it's not like her nose is going to grow or anything. She just can't lie. Um, so that's kind of her thing. And, yeah, so far that's kind of been her main storyline. She doesn't really have any other storylines, um, based on what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, I also think that, like, her, char her character is voiced by the same voice actress who does, um, Mickey, Mickey from Big Mouth. Like, their voices sound really familiar to me. I don't know why. Maybe I, th I think it's the same voice actress. But anyways, um, she's really nice. I don't really, like, have much to say about her. Mm, I'm going to put her in C for now. I do like her a little bit more than Goldilocks. I don't know. 
she's she seems nice and she's very helpful it's just helping the girls she's helping um apple and someone else i forget who because they do like the booklet that gets fake or something like that but anyways she's nice i like her um i don't know gold i don't know i just don't like her as much she doesn't give me as like as good vibes as authentic vibes like see her she gives me like I don't know, she remind, kind of reminds me of, like, how I was when I was in elementary school. Like, she doesn't have much of a storyline yet, but, like, I kind of feel like she's shy, and she's just nice, and she doesn't, like, she's not too talkative, she doesn't, like, really want to get in the way, she just wants kind of everyone to get along, and that's exactly how I was when I was in elementary school. I was a lot like that. So I like her um, for that reason as well. Okay, then the next character we have, I, let me just look for her name. Yes, Cerise Hood. So Cerise Hood is a daughter of Little Red Riding Hood, but there's something a little bit more interesting about her is um, her dad is the Big Bad Wolf, so apparently her mom had a thing with the Big Bad Wolf. Mm, okay, so um, Little Red Riding Hood may have some issues that she needs to work out, or maybe the Big Bad Wolf wasn't so big and bad after all. For some reason, she ended up with him, and they had this uh, girl, um, Cerise, as her daughter. But she, so because of like the fact that her dad is like a wolf, she's actually a part wolf, so she becomes a wolf sometimes. And she's trying to hide this fact from the rest of the students. She's a rebel, um, and like she's always like really hungry and like eating a bunch of meat because she's like a, a wolf or whatever. But I really like her. I think she's super cute. I like her like how she's different I don't know like I'm gonna put her up in S for now and that might change but like right now she's like a mystery but like in a good way of like they've hinted at a lot of storylines with her but they haven't really fully fleshed them out yet so I'm super curious of how it's gonna go I'm really interested in like um how she's gonna come to terms with the fact that like you know her mom is kind of like a like a hero um but her dad is kind of seen as like a villain so yeah that really interests me um okay this girl she's like cupid i forget her name but she comes in for like they have like some sort of love day thing where like they're all like i don't even know asking each other out to like some love day thing anyways apparently she's in monster high and she's like become her name's like ca cupid or something but and she's coming to like this high school so yeah, she's basically like the matchmaker trying to set everybody up, but she secretly has a crush on Dexter, I believe. Um, so I like her a lot. I'm gonna put her in A. I don't know. She's super cute. I like how she has the crush on him, but like it's unrequited because he doesn't like her back. Like he's not he's super obsessed with another um character. So yeah, she's I, I just like that and she's super cute. I love her hair, I love anything pink, so just like aesthetically like these two are my favorite aesthetically just I don't know I love the pink and I don't know like Ashlyn Apple whatever her name is something Cupid and Cedar and like Goldie like these ones are like probably my my aesthetic the most um as well like I'm not really into the other ones like looks but whatever anyways <laughs> I love pink so I just love her hair and everything like that this girl, um, she's not in it yet from where I am. Um, this is, this is Daring Charming, so, no, yeah, yes. So he's the son of Prince Charming, and he and, um, Apple, um, are, like, kind of dating, but they don't really, like, do anything together. I think they're just dating because they, like, know they're going to be together in the future. I don't know, it's a little bit weird, like, but he's kind of stuck up and everything like that, like, kind of sees himself as better than everybody else, um, yeah, I'm gonna slip him in D, he just seems like not a very nice guy, to be honest, but we haven't really seen too much of him, so maybe he is a nice guy, we'll just have to see in the future, and I don't know who she is, but I wish I did, like, I'm sorry, she looks, she's like really cute looking, and this girl too, I love her, like, I'm just realizing I love her, um, eyeshadow, and this girl too, wow, there are some really cute girls popping up, like, really, really like their outfits and everything but yeah i don't know who she is um this is prince charming's a um brother dexter charming and he's like kind of a nerdier 
more awkward of the two. Um, he seems relatively nice. I, I, I feel kind of, like, bad because she really likes him. He's obsessed with somebody else, which I don't know. I mean, she's like, see, because, like, I don't know. His obsession's a bit weird. I don't know if I like that too much. So, um, that's really all we know about him so far. I just, I don't know. I don't really vibe with him that much, so he's going there for now. I think this is the daughter of the Pied Piper, Melanie Piper. Is it Melanie or Melody? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to look on my list, but it doesn't have everybody. It is really hard to find a list of all these characters' names that includes everybody. I had one, and then I couldn't, and then I lost it. Um, okay. Please find the name. This is so frustrating. Anyways, I, I know that she is the daughter of the Pied Piper, and I think she's Melody, Melody or Melanie, and she is, like, really, like, a DJ or something like that. She's really into, like, music, which I think is super cool, but aside from that, she doesn't really have too much going on in her story yet, so I'm just gonna put her in C for now. Okay, this is Duchess Swan. Duchess Swan has shown to kind of be, like, a true evil character so far in what I've seen. Um... Like, she's not supposed to be evil in terms of, like, her story and her legacy. But, like, in terms of her actions, she's pretty, like, mean. She really wants, um, I forget what it was. She wants someone to give up their legacy or their future so she can have it or something like that. I think she's super, like, cute, though. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put her in, I'm gonna put her in C. I don't like her, but I honestly get worse vibes from him right now. So, she's going in there. Um, don't know who this is right now. I don't know why she, like, has, like, an apple. It's weird. I don't know. Who, I don't know who she is. Um, I don't know who she is, but I love her, like, pose. She looks super cute. Um, I don't know who she is, but she looks super cute. I said whatever, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what he is, but he doesn't look super cute. I don't know. No. Okay, he's, like, the principal's brother. The other brother, Grim, who's been, like, sent to, like, this prison, and he's been cursed to only speak this, like, language they call, like, babbling or something, babblish, I forget, I forget what it's called, but it's basically, like, babbling, and it's just, like, a random language where they speak in, like, po poems that make no sense. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's really funny, but yeah, he's a bit odd, I'm just gonna put him in, I don't know. I'll put him in B, because, like, I think he's just harmless, to be honest. Actually, no. No. What am I... No. No. That's better. <laughs> I actually don't, like... He I prefer her than the other ones, so she's going up there. Okay. I don't know who she is yet, but she looks like she's related to, like, some gingerbread person. Because of her earrings. But she's super cute looking. I love her pink hair. But don't know who she is. He is the principal, and he's kind of evil. Like, he's, like, the bad brother. I think he, like, sentenced his brother to, like, this prison or something. And, um, yeah, he's not very nice. He wants to force all the students to live, like, their legacy and to follow the destiny they're supposed to have. And he gets, like, very upset when anybody doesn't want to follow those, um, that, like, those guidelines, I guess. Um, this girl is related to, I believe, uh, Rapunzel, um, Rapunzel's daughter. But I just, I've seen her, but she hasn't, like, barely said anything, so... I'm just gonna put her in who are you, like, I know who she is, but, but I, mean, I don't know, I, I just don't think I can, like, rate her, because I've just seen her in the background, and I looked her up, so I know who she is, but I don't know anything about her, so I'm just gonna put them in who are you, because this is her sister, by the way, I think it's funny, because she has super long hair, and she has super short hair, but I don't know much about them to rate them, so they're going in there for now, this guy, oh my gosh, I forget his name, but he is related to um, the Fog Prince. I'm just going to look it up right now. Um, and what happens is, okay, his name's Ho Hopper Crokington II. He is the son of, yeah, the Fog Prince from um, Tiana. What? Princess in the Frog, I guess. Um, but anyways, so whenever he gets, like, nervous like he's a very nervous guy whenever he gets nervous he like turns into the frog and the frog can speak really well it's really funny um I like that storyline I think it's kind of cute I'm gonna put him in a because I do like him a lot 
Um, no, actually I'm going to put them in B because I like these ones the best. Like, these ones are, like, top, top, top tier. I'll also reorganize them in their categories eventually. But, anyways, this is Hunt, Hunter, Hunt, Huntington or something like that. As I said before, he's related to the, the Huntsman from Snow White. And he's also Rebel. Um, he's having a relationship with Ashlyn. And I think he is super, super, like, cute. I don't know. I just like him. He seems so nice. Um, I don't know. He's probably, like, my favorite guy from the series, to be honest. But I'm going to put him in A because I like I like the girls better. But anyways, I, yeah, he's probably my favorite guy from the series. He's super nice and sweet. And he buys Ashlyn a lot of shoes. So you can never go wrong with buying a girl a lot of shoes. <laughs> but anyways, this is um Kitty. Kitty Cheshire. Kitty. She's related to the Cheshire cat. Um, hold on. What's her last name? Kitty. Kitty Cheshire. I feel like I pronounced Cheshire weird. Maybe I, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. So maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. But anyways, um, she's kind of like cheeky to be honest. I guess like the Cheshire cat. Like, she's always kind of trying to cause mischief, but it's, like, not really very harmful mischief. But I honestly, like, love her aesthetic. She's, like, super, super cute. I don't know. It's just vibing with me, her whole look and her whole thing. Um, but she's kind of mischievous, though. I'm going to put her in B. I just like how she looks and acts, but she's kind of mean. Okay, this is Lizzie Hearts, I believe. Um, sorry, this. Um, this girl, Lizzie Hearts. She is the daughter of the Queen of Hearts, and so far we haven't seen much about her. I mean, I'm going to rate her because I just don't care. I didn't rate these ones, whatever. I, or maybe, I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to like her. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going to like her, but I don't know, so I'll just put her at who are you. Um, like, I've seen her in the background, but I don't know too much of her story, but, like, again, her whole look is, I just love it so much. It's perfect. Whoever designed these, like, characters... Like, they did a really good job. So, she looks different here for some reason. I don't know why. But this is a Maddie, like, Madeline um, Hatter. She's related to the Mad Hatter. She's best friends with Raven Queen, who we'll talk about later. So, she, yeah. She's related to the Mad Hatter. So, she's a bit mad, as you could say. She talks, like, babblish, whatever that language is that this guy speaks, where they talk in, like, poems. She understands it. I don't know. They did a really good job with her character. She's super cute and quirky, just like the Mad Hatter is supposed to be. Um, hmm. I'm going to put her in S because I really do like her. She is super cute, and she's really nice. And, yeah, she works really hard to, like, be a really good friend for um, her best friend, Raven Queen. But now I'm thinking about it. She's going to go in A because I think I... I think Raven Queen's going to go up here. We'll just get to Raven Queen for now. Uh, Raven Queen is the daughter of the evil queen. And she's kind of misunderstood. She's really nice. Like, she honestly wants nothing to do with the evil queen or being the evil queen's daughter. And she feels really bad that she's, like, um, hurting Apple's future by by not following her destiny. But she just can't, she just can't be that person, you know what I mean? So, I really like her. I think she's a really interesting storyline. Um, she's a great character. I don't know who she is, and I don't know who she is. This is, like, the really, like, the giant guy. I, I really don't care about him. He's only D. I just don't care about him because, like, he's not really, like, a character in my mind. He's just, like, feet. I don't know. This guy, I don't know who he is. And this guy is related to Robin Hood, and I don't know his name. Um, Robin Hood ever after five i don't really like him that much though he's like really into like playing guitar for some reason he's like a um scene guy okay i just realized i think this show was released in two or this like act was released in like 2013 which kind of makes sense because like it's kind of giving me scene vibes honestly although scene was kind of like a lot earlier like he looks like he would be, be in follow boy to be honest um, yeah, he looks like he'd be in Fall Out Boy, to be honest, but he, I think he might be a villain, I don't know, he just, like, he's annoying, because he just, like, is super hyper and all up in everyone's faces, I'm gonna put him in D, uh, for now, so, yeah, this is my ranking of 
the Ever After High characters. It's a show on Netflix. Um, if you're interested, I highly, highly suggest it. If you like this kind of show, like, I honestly like watching Paw Patrol. I don't know. Yeah, I do. I like watching The Sweet Life on deck. I do like that. I know. For some reason, um, like, when I watch, like, children's shows, it just, like, makes me feel so calm. Like, I obviously don't like watching these kinds of shows all the time. But, like, if I'm, like, kind of stressed out or something and I put these shows on, it just gives me, like, a bunch of serotonin, calms me down, and they're great to watch before bed. So, if you're interested in that, I highly suggest you watch this show. If you have seen it before, please let me know, like, who your favorite characters are and who your least favorite characters are and everything like that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all check out my channel next time for my next video coming up because I have a lot recorded. Um, I will talk to you all next time.